What's up, everybody? Welcome to Midiverse TV. We're here at KnobCon 2018. We're at the Erogenous Tones booth checking out a new video module. Okay, so what is this here? Okay, uh, so this is Structure. It's our first foray into the uh, video world. It is a digital video synthesizer uh, that is built off of the um, GLSL shaders where we have uh, created a system where we can stack several different types of generators together to create visual uh, representations for music. Uh, the core of the system starts with these modules called generators. We have about 400 of these designed. They're done in GLSL programming language, and uh, this gives you an opportunity to get some incredibly flexible and very interesting results. Uh, these programs are really neat in that they are run and compiled on the GPU. So since we're already in the GPU, we can do an awful lot of interesting things like add uh, various types of effects. Um, we're able to stack them on top of these shaders. Um, we probably have about 60 to 80 effects set up already. And uh, since we've gotten such a large number of shaders and other sort of uh, generative functions, we've created things like a random button that will go through and kind of randomize the source. It'll randomize uh, you know, the various effects parameters. And then throughout the system, we've also created modules that will do things like mix them together. We are able to take video input, uh, and since that's within our graphics pipeline, we're also able to uh, uh, add effects to those real time. Well, we'll go through all the inputs. Okay. Uh, for video input, we have one volt LZX compatible RGB input, or we can do CVBS, which is your standard RCA, you know, NTSC or PAL signal. And then for output here, we have two CVBS, which is also, you know, regular NTSC outputs. For inputs, we have two high-speed DACs for audio input levels, and then we have three regular inputs for CV voltage. All of these are one volt LZX video or five volt Eurorack switchable. So you're able to take in uh, up to three parameters, and how we've assigned it within these shaders, these can be manipulated by incoming signals. So what we're looking at here is one of the first menus of the structure. Uh, here you'll see a preview of the video, uh, the graphics that are going out. This is monitoring for our joystick, which we'll come back to when we hit 3D objects. And then around the right-hand side, you can see we have our audio input levels, which we can attenuate. And then if we had uh, waveforms or envelopes coming in, they would show here. And then as you can see in the preview window on the upper left corner, we're manipulating some of the parameters of this shader. Uh, and that is generally consistent for all of the various uh, graphics that we have and that we use. Wow, yeah, it looks great. And then as I said before, these, these, can be, uh, these can be stacked on top of each other. And here we're adding multiple effects, but then we can also move into having multiple generators and then modify how they're mixed together. And start to come up with all sorts of really, really great patterns. Uh, we get more in depth. We have a whole series of noise shaders can be used as well as we uh, can handle still images and the still images can be loaded off via SD card and uh, then they can be manipulated and run in the process uh, to have shaders effects put on them or mixed with other shaders and then we have video input and again the video input within that graphics chain can also take uh, effects they can be wrapped on to let's see let me random up 3d objects as well which we can control by the joystick What sort of a MIDI implementation does it have? So we have USB on the front, and we are going to support a MIDI learn, and the overall architecture of structure will be that any input source, whether it's a CV or a gate input or a MIDI input, will be routable to any published parameter within the unit. So uh, you know, if a parameter can, can accept an X move or a Y move or a zoom, you can route that from anywhere, manually on the front control panel. Uh, or via MIDI, via CV. Since it's digital, we're able to create uh, presets. So we have a performance setting where you can have up to 64 presets to recall the state of the machine, uh, you know, in, in any given positioning. Here's the second menu where we're showing the various nodes that we're using. We have up to five nodes per preset, and we show the various stage of what's happening, so we can actually go in and individually change a single piece of the effects chain. And then on our next menu, we're showing actually all the routable parameters and sources, and you know if these were being animated, you would see the various control parameters uh, moving around. And then finally on the final menu, we have a, a larger preview. So what's great about this, uh, these shaders, is that they're basic text files. They live on the SD card in front, so these are going to be user editable. You'll be able to create your own, you'll be able to share with people, generators, effects, uh, as well as some basic 3D objects. Is there a price point on it? So we are getting ready to enter manufacturing by the end of this year. This has sort of been a long, slow 
uh, a three-year crawl to this. Um, actually, in the top of the audio case, those were the first prototypes of what this ultimately became. I see. Um, but once we get that into production, we'll have a final price point, but we're aiming for $8.99. Cool. Yeah, cool. Thanks for showing me. Appreciate Absolutely. It. Thank you for having me.